Hi all, to be coached by me on an individual one-on-one -on -one customized personality development and confidence building transformation journey, write to me on learnenglishwithmanjita at gmail.com. Also, if you're struggling in IELTS and want to be taught online, write to me at learnenglishwithmanjita at gmail.com. Now let's quickly jump onto today's class. So, how was your practice yesterday? Did you miss watching yesterday's word? Well, the link is right there. And it was an important word which I taught you. And you can use it for anything which is hanging. Hmm, I'm not going to tell what that is. You will figure it out after watching the episode. Let's come into today's word. Now, today's word is earnest. Earnest. It has two syllables, er, nest, earnest. It's an adjective and it means something which is important, genuine, something which comes from your heart. It is weighty. It has a lot of importance in it. Earnest. Let me show you a couple of sentences and you can understand how to use this word from today. The principal is very angry and will accept only an earnest apology from the student. So what did you understand? Earnest apology. It means a genuine or a sincere apology. So from today, if you want to say sorry to someone, you can say it's my earnest apology. This means you are feeling sorry or you're apologizing from your heart. Right? Earnest. Let's see another sentence. The girl made an earnest plea for help. Earnest. It's a beautiful word. Try using this word today in a couple of sentences and it's my guarantee that you will never forget this word. But it's your job to put in efforts and make at least two to three sentences today. So see, where can you use it throughout the day, all right? Drop your sentences in the comment section and let me know how did you use your sentence. You are my rock star and you will be a champion soon. So don't worry guys, I'm there with you to teach you a word every day. And it is not just collecting a lot of vocabulary and a word and making a big fat book. It does not make sense if you cannot remember those words, if you cannot use those words, there is no point collecting those words. So that is why I'm teaching you one word each day with its meaning, its syllables, its usage in sentences so that you can make efforts to learn them every day. I'll see you tomorrow with another word. Till then, keep practicing.